It's your boy B Pumper. Shout out to VladTV.com. When you, when you talk to different girls in the industry, and I'm not going to go into any names, but there, there is, seems to be a, a certain amount of girls out there that say, I'm not going to work with Brad Pumper anymore. And I'm sure you, you know, this is a, you've heard this before. Yeah. You know, and for some reason, your name seems to come up slightly more so than other other male stars. So why why do you think that is? Honestly, I, you know, I mean, people. I think people don't really understand me. That's what it is. Like you know, what I'm saying I'm, I'm a real fly guy, man. Not like on some real shit. And then, and, and you know, like I'm, I'm focused, man. I got, I got a ton of talent. And, you know, women are fragile, so you know, sometimes you got to trick them, play roles with them because you know they, um, you know, they 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 want they want to be the stars, which they are. Because if it wasn't for the females, we wouldn't, you know, um, have you know great porn. I mean, we need the women. Women are the ones that drive the industry. The males are just the studs. You're the penis to um, get the job done. Um, and you know, shit. I mean, I'm. I'm a producer now, so I, you know, I, I understand and respect the game. I know what it is. Um, people hating. That people, people get, you know, it could just be, you know, faggots hating. Um, you know, niggas hate on. You, know, you would think the porn industry would be the last industry for people to hate on. Everybody getting pussy, making money, busting nuts. You know, pussy is a, is every man's treat. Um, Pussy is a favorite man's treat. You know, I guess, I guess, like in porn, you have the each girl has like a will not work with list. Yeah, that's you know? that's that's true. That is correct. A lot of um, a, a lot of the female actresses have um, their do's and their don'ts, and, and their agencies usually have those. Or if she's a, a free agent herself, she'll have that. And usually, she just let the producer know. Um, this guy's on my no list. That guy's on my no list. I won't work with him. You know, these handful of guys are the ones that I will not work with. They're on my no list. Anyone else you can put me with. I'll tell you what that is. That's either because she's had the opportunity to work with them, which I respect. What I'm getting ready to say, I respect this. She's had the opportunity to work with them, so therefore she was able to make a decision whether she was comfortable with the experience or not. You know, whether it was something she found that she didn't like about them or whether, you know, I mean, it, it, and, and, and with that, you know, a dude, you know, controls the impression he leaves. And sometimes some of the bitches are actually crazy. You know, you can think you, you're being a gentleman and somehow in her mind, you were an asshole and don't know, and some of the bitches is phony. So you'll be on their no list, you know, and, and it, which, you know, which creates unnecessary childish, dumb tension, you know, and it's like, you know, I'm seeing this bitch at, at convention. We're passing on set, or actually, let's let's just say, I didn't see her any other. Like we shot with each other, and somehow I discovered later on that I'm on her no list, and I discovered that from a producer that tried to cast us to put us together, because that producer will call that male performer back and say, "Hey man, um, and I've experienced it before. Hey man." Um, you know, she said you're on her no list. I don't know what happened in you guys last shoot, the last time you guys shot with each other. But she just said, you know, um, he's on my no list. I don't want to work with him. I'd rather work with somebody else, right? And what's crazy is that same bitch I run into at a porn convention, right, or on another set, and her whole story will change. Hey, B Pumper, up, you know, what's up? You know, no, nah, ain't no what's up, bitch. I lost money from you, over you, last week. The producer called me back and said that he didn't, you know, that you didn't, I was on your no list. Like, sweetie, we worked with each other once or twice before, and each shoot went fine. I, you know, I, I was a gentleman, uh, we did the position. Um, you clearly had a good time, to my knowledge, gave me a kiss on the cheek and said, thank you, Pumper, bye, bye, guys, see you guys later, and I'm on your no list. Um, that's not true, Pumper. I mean, it's it's crazy. Like, um, I, you're not on my list. So she can either front and be phony with me, or you know, you know what it is. Like, I, people just talk shit. They, you know, um, I, you know, she'll just basically be phony. And, you know, and, and you know, you're fine. I, I'll let directors know that I want to work with you. You know what I mean? Or I could just, you know, who knows, man? Like, you know, a lot of there's a lot of funny style individuals in the industry. 
but you know, I don't let that distract me. I just stay focused. There's a million bitches out there, so bitch, if you don't want to work with me, I'm gonna fuck some other pussy and fuck another bitch that's probably ten times better than you. Bitch, yeah, like you probably ain't even gonna be around. You gonna be on drugs and have a pimp boyfriend taking all your money. You gonna be crying. You gonna be begging me for work. I'm a producer. I cut checks, bitch. What? You gonna be your mind? The whole shit gonna switch up, and then you gonna fuck me. So I mean, I ain't come on. This, 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 yeah.